Hi, my name is Cale Porton. I'm the uh, city archivist for uh, the city of Providence. I'm the caretaker of our historic records here. And unfortunately, this is one of the saddest days for history in our city right now. Uh, I'm sick over it. Uh, water is the worst thing that can happen to records here. Uh, we've moved records. We have leakage going through the wall. Um, unfortunately, we're closed currently right now. We're trying to uh, safeguard the records. Uh, so far, we have everything out of the water zone here. Um, there is a small drippage going down through the lights here, so we had to turn off the lights. Um, it's not good. Uh, and tell us a little bit again what you had to move. You can hear the dripping behind us again. We're here on the fifth floor of City Hall where the archives are. You can see where the wall has uh, rotted away and then some tarps being placed over it. But again, being told this is the first time that the archives have flooded. Um, how did you triage this? Well, I should correct that. Back in 2010, there was small leakage problems uh, under the former archivist Paul Campbell who repaired that. Um, we haven't had leakage issues since, but as you can see, the facility is in dire need of repair. Um, I've spent the last six years trying to lobby that. Uh, unfortunately, a, a lot of it has to do with the outside walls right now, the, the, the roof, the fish scaling roof. As you know, it's a, a uh, gilded age building, so the materials are very elaborate and take a lot of repair. So apparently the fish scale roofing must have went today a little bit and the water is leaking through and coming through our walls. So it really has, it's an exterior issue to the building rather than an interior issue. Okay, if folks are watching now, I'm gonna get a little again closer up. The archives are currently closed due to the state of the leakage. As you can tell, things are being covered up here. Um, I can hear the water, you might be able to hear live as well. But before we let you go, you said you've been making this fight again for um, better facilities yes. for the city archives. Again, here in the fifth floor, right under a leaking ceiling in this weather. Again, so many um, historic objects, books, paintings here in City Hall. Um, what would be the ideal situation? Obviously, clearly dealing with uh, inclement weather, uh, having the potential to destroy documents here in City Hall. We need a shared archives facility and we need to take the St Secretary of State seriously. We need to let her purchase a new building. We need to combine our record center and we need to take care of our, city, our state's history. We're one of the 13 original colonies. We, uh, Roger Williams, who found, uh, was the, the cause for separation of church and state, uh, his principles, uh, freedom of consciousness, uh, influenced the founding fathers. We were the first to enter the revolution, the last to enter the revolution and we're the only state in the union that does not have a state museum. So I deplore with everybody, write to your representatives, save our history, let's take this serious because this is my livelihood and these are your records, these are the people's records and they need to be preserved. Well, I appreciate your taking the time again, trying to preserve as much today as possible. I'm gonna get a little closer up here for those who are watching, we'll have some photos as well. So thank you for your time. You. And I'm gonna go show folks here again, fifth floor of Providence City Hall, where the archives are stored. We've got buckets collecting water coming down from the ceiling. Again, trying to protect as much as possible here in the archives of City Hall making the case for a dedicated archive facility. Whoop, I just got dripped on. <laughs> there are several buckets over here. And just to show you again, the archives here at City Hall, if you haven't been up to the fifth floor, I'll take you over here as well. Now it looks out, of course, on Kennedy Plaza from City Hall, fifth floor, the archives are flooding, as we were told, due to the state of the roof of City Hall and its styling as well. But clearly the walls in disrepair, buckets of water being collected here, trying to keep things protected. Looks like a lot of books moved to a table over here as well. And you can just about see, I'll back up to coverage, even in the top tiered sections, if you can see in the top corner there around one o'clock, two o'clock, Again, the ceiling peeling away here at Providence City Archives on the fifth floor. Closed to the public today. 
Thank you to the City Archives for letting me come in to show you this. We'll provide more pictures as well. But again, the inclement weather, City Archives are flooding here at City Hall. Okay, thanks everyone.